<laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Okay, okay. I'm recording. Welcome, everyone. Uh, th thank you for watching this video. This um, I'm gonna go through all the settings and keybinds for 3.19. Uh, we're gonna go through all the settings uh, hopefully try to cover the most important ones but there's a lot of settings but we're gonna do our best um i have uh the number one pvp -er, uh in the game uh pigeon i'm not gonna say his first name um <laughs> and we have a mogus also a super super good pvp -er. uh, so we're gonna mostly go through pvp keybinds and settings um because that's what we do. So, yeah, welcome everyone. I hope you enjoy. Do we clap? <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. first we're gonna go through uh, the game settings, uh, which we have uh, cinematic cameras. Yeah, so cinematic camera is a camera that will follow your missile when it's launched, um, but you do need a set of keybind for it. And You'd go to keybinds, advanced controls at the bottom, and then scroll to vehicle missiles, and then you would find the PH in brackets. All the way at the bottom. Then it's the enable cinematic camera, toggle or hold. Either one, and then when you fire the missile, hold that or toggle it. And it'll follow your missile to its target. Ah. Um, yes. That's a nice one. I think I'm gonna... Actually, put don't do it. Oh, don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can if you want. Okay. We're gonna turn this off for now. Yeah, I have that on off. Uh, vibration, I have that off too. Okay. Um, anything I vibrating guess... or moving, absolutely no. Yeah, I guess um, a speed PR is kind of important to have that off, right? Yeah. Same with the camera spring movement. Um. And then the hints, that's up to you. Control hints as well. The, the rest is kind of up to you. Um, even a lot of the toggle settings. A lot of the sprint, crouch prone, ADS, interact mode, all that. I recommend leaving that default. Um, then you get into the flight coupled toggle mode. Uh, I recommend leaving that default too. Because uh, you do not want to hold a button when you want to be coupled. Mm -hmm. Unless you do. I don't know. Up to you. Um, okay, the first important setting is G-Safe. Defaults on. Turn that off. It just limits uh, the amount of Gs your ship can pull when you're close to blacking out. Um, it's not like a huge G difference, but yeah, the G-Safe defaults on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'd turn that off. Um, and then disable while boosting. I leave it default, yes. Uh, now, personally, me, I do not like having speed limiter on, so I turn it off, but um, there is a keybind that you can set it to toggle, uh, if that's something you enjoy using speed limiter, but I personally do not, so I can run turning it off. Then you have proximity assist, which is also kind of like G-safe, but it'll limit your Gs when you have a collision warning, when you're about to hit something, it'll kind of start um, stopping your ship. But it, it's so it's such a little difference because I mean, when that collision warning pops up, you're gonna hit it anyways. So kind of up to you, but I have it off. Um, okay. Then this one I think is important. Um, this space break uh, engages boost. Mm -hmm. Leave that on no. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I like to be in charge of my boost. I never space break anyways, but when I do, I don't want it to use boost unless I want it to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Couple mode defaults on. I think you should leave this on. Uh, but fly decoupled. Learn both how to fly with both. Um, yeah. Pilot ESP. This is probably like the biggest settings um, to pick from. Uh, the zone, I think, is what most people should play with and see what feels good to them. Mm -hmm. um, I see anywhere from people literally using it from 20 to, like, 4. That's the lowest I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, but the dampening, I recommend leaving that 
on default or max 1.25 and that's what I use 1.25 um, but just mess around with the zone the dampening and then find something that feels comfortable to you and then stick with it do not change this every week every day uh, that is not how you build muscle memory so um, you use 20 right yeah I use 20 and 1.25 I, I can't move it to one. Uh, and then, oh. <laughs> yeah, and then for the mouse users, the VJoy visibility, leave that on on, visible only when mouth is, uh, mouse input. You can turn it off if you don't want to see a line. Um, up to you. Show dead zone for mouse, up to you. Um, I have it zero, so it doesn't matter for me. But the range, I do not recommend using 19. You have to move your mouse so far just to get an input from your ship. So I'd recommend for you mouse users to lower it to 4 for the pitch and the yaw. Um, and then if you want a dead zone, it is up to you. I have it 0. I do not want a dead zone. If I want to stop my ship, like uh, in the pitch and yaw, I just use right shift. It locks you in that orientation anyways. So uh, The pilot velocity indicator i think this is important so make it always on um but it's yeah. kind of preference uh yes and then for me i have all these sliders to four four or zero uh, just preference the turret i think is the more important one um i don't think a lot of people really drive around um yep then the ESP for the turret. Um, it's kind of like, just use whatever you use for your pilot ESP settings. Um, and then turrets defaults to relative mode. Uh, that depends what mode you like using in turrets. If you like using the, the relative mode for mouse, then use it. If you like using VJoy, then put... Um, no, leave it on no. But you can also change it with Q, I think, as the key line, so it's not a huge thing. Um, the salvage, that doesn't matter. Tractor beam, that doesn't matter. Uh, the convergence, that really doesn't matter unless you're like shooting something on the ground and you want like that pinpoint accuracy. Um, but when you lock a target um, and you gain the pip, it'll auto-converge on the pip, so it doesn't matter unless you're not locked to something, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself at jump town shooting a lot of infantry on the ground, maybe put it 100, 200, 300 around there. Um, I just leave it default because it doesn't really matter to me. Mm -hmm. um, base ship weapons fixed. And then let's see, I don't think a lot of these matter from here. Yeah. Naval crosshair. Okay, and then go to aiming, default, lead, and lag type. Uh, yeah. So, this is honestly personal preference. I recommend sticking with lead. Uh, I think personally lag um, makes you think more of how to aim versus lead. You're just following the pip. Um, but with lag, I guess your eyes is on the target versus on the pip. So... I don't know, they have benefits. I use both. I mainly use lead. I use lag when I'm shooting bigger ships and I want to sub-target. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to swap between them, there is a keybind that we will go over uh, towards the keybind and you can swap between them on demand. Yeah, uh, I feel like lead is the one everyone should use and if you want to shoot big ships, that's when you switch to lag pip. Also, yep. um... Like, for the targeting, enable crosshair animation. Um, I used to like this. I used to like the animation, but someone told me, um, like, you can aim better without. So, um, I kind of uh, changed it to no after a few months, and I just got used to playing without the animation. And I feel like it's a little better, but that's preference. But what this does is like when you're shooting, it's kind of like doing like the animation. 
that you're actually shooting the pip. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay, I'll try that out. Um, vehicle lock, show heading. Oh no, uh, the default pip combination type. Um, one pip per weapon type. I'll leave that on that. Um, I do not recommend using different weapons. Uh, use laser repeaters with laser repeaters. Uh, use cannons with cannons. Don't swap them. Because they have different velocities and then that'll mess with your pip calculation. Uh, and this is to help kind of negate that. This is a new setting. Um, but yeah, just stick with laser repeaters. That's what's good right now. Um, cannons are meh. Uh, and then the show heading, show distance, all that. Preference. Preference, preference. Enable auto. This is a huge one. Um, the enable auto zoom on lock target. Put no. Why do you want to zoom every time you lock someone? Mm -hmm. um, and then for the slider, just put that to zero just in case. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a fail safe. <laughs> uh, kind of like, and then uh, for pilot look ahead, uh, this is just the Walmart track IR or Toby. Uh, turn it off. <laughs> okay. If you want head tracking, <laughs> just get a track IR or Toby. You won't regret it. I think you should get it over joysticks, pedals, anything. Waste track IR is probably the most important thing. Um, and then for the sliders, I put it all to zero as well, just in case I accidentally turn pilot. Uh, Look ahead on or something. I don't know. It's extra fail safe. Um, and then same thing for the turret. I hate pilot or look ahead. I have track IR, so I don't need it. It is also not good if you don't have track IR. Um, By the way, guys, you can uh, get your Toby with a discount if you use the code Miss Gabby's for a five percent off. It's really good yeah. to have um, head tracking in this game. Yeah, uh, it's going to be your biggest investment, I think. Um, and then I turn all the sliders to zero. Um, and then we get into the G-force induced head movement, uh, camera moving head. No. Zero. Bad. No good. Um, this one? Yes. G-Force? Okay. Zero. Yeah. And then the G-Force induced afterburner zoom. I don't know why they still have settings like this. I guess immersion can be cool, but not if you're PvPing. Um, same with global camera shake. Um, yeah. No good. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think that's really it from here. Yeah, that covers the settings. Um, then we go to graphics. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. Uh, so for Gamma, if you're doing Jump Town and you're <laughs> a pilot and you can't see anything, uh, you have CIG's flashbang effect, turn Gamma zero. <laughs> uh, it'll look weird, but you'll be able to see the pip, uh, and that's all that matters, really. So, yes. Um, then brightness contract, you can play with all that for all you want. Window mode, uh, people say you get better frame rate with full screen versus borderless, but I don't know. Um, yeah. I play with full screen, so. Yeah, I prefer Quality. borderless because I ult up a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My alt tab is instant. I don't know why, but yep. And then quality, you want the game to be on very high. You want your GPU taking as much work from your CPU as possible because uh, this game is very greatly optimized. Yeah, so basically um, when you change to low, it goes uh, more to the CPU work, right? But if you yeah, have very high, and, like uh, the game mm -hmm. handles more on your GPU. Your CPU will be at like 90 to 100 percent, no matter what setting you pick. So, mm -hmm. uh, scattered object distance. I have it on medium. I don't think it really matters. Same with terrain distance. 
Um, the clouds, if you want them, cool. Uh, I just turn it off for frame rate. Yeah, if you want more frames, just turn them off or medium. If you just want cinematic looks, just keep it high. I usually turn it off. Yeah, sometimes they look nice and they're worth having on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, field of view, preference, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. Motion blur, you're not a gamer if you use motion blur. I do not care what you say. Uh, yeah. And V-Sync. Uh, I say turn that off for the most part. Um, hold on. I need to go to fire real quick. Because I was kind of confused on what V-Sync did. Mm. Uh, but V-Sync stands for Vertical Synchronization. It's designed to reduce screen tearing. The screen tearing only happens when your GPU is too weak for what you are doing. So it will render the frames too slow and cause screen tearing two frames on the screen at a time. To fix this, V-Sync will limit the displaying frame buffer until the next frame is ready. Um, so it could lead to lower FPS theoretically, but uh, I don't know. So if you have screen tearing, um, turn it on otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, sharpening. I kind of like sharpening. I really do. I don't think CIG has enough to the point where I like it. So I just leave it at zero. Um, chromatic aberrations up to you. Fill grain up to you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep, next. Time for the audio. Um, everything here is preference, except all the way at the bottom. Audio-driven camera shake strength. Oh, uh, yeah. Put that to zero. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Oh, you put it to 100. Oh. <laughs> it was this lighting. <laughs> and I do this because I hold F. Oh, yeah. Yeah, have a... Uh, if you like having the audio while you're Alt-Tab, do that. Um, and then controls. I only have two things for controls. It is mouse acceleration and mouse smoothing. Leave that at zero, please. Which one? Oh, mouse acceleration. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, and smoothing. Yeah, also uh, for... Well, I don't know if this is mouse too, but for joystick users, you want to change, and CIG con is constantly changing this. This usually resets, so please, uh, like, constantly check uh, check this because it can change the way you aim. Uh, I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but it does. So you want just uh, everything like your dead zone at zero and your saturation uh, one. So you just wanna uh, constantly check that this is all zero. And this is all one. Yep. Uh, just stick with mouse and keyboard. Um, oh, and so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if you want, if you're having some issues where um, your controls are reversed, you usually go here in version settings, flight, flight movement, and like you just check like what's reversed, and you just change to no to yes, you know. Nice. Keybinds. Right. Keybinds. Yep. Should we switch um, to comms head tracking first and then leave keybinds at the end? Uh, I literally changed nothing with comms besides make sure head tracking is set to track AR or what, Toby? You need to change a few things for Toby. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? Okay, see, track AR, I just select track AR and that's it. Okay, so I changed my microphone here, um, so people can hear me in-game. Uh, and what, I need to select Toby. Um, and I need to know all this, right? What else do I need yes. to know? Uh, go down until you find the input mix. See like head and eyes. They're in head tracking Toby's seated input mix. Set that to one. That'll right. make it so your eyes don't control your head movement, which is super annoying. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I will go through my Toby settings at the very end 
because I do change some stuff here. But let's jump to key bindings. And uh, I'm a joystick user. I have dual joysticks, pedals, and Dolby eye tracker. Um, so I guess for this video, we're gonna do joysticks. Okay, so in uh, key bindings, we're gonna clear all the bindings from the joysticks. So we can start from zero. And I don't know why this has a key binding. Okay, um, so I know a lot of people uh, do the eject, uh, so I guess I'm gonna bind that to my left joystick, I guess. Um, I guess this is uh, the most important for me, uh, missile. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Scanning mode, I don't usually... Um, I guess I will set up binding for that. Um, I guess. Uh, look behind, is that important? No. Okay, so I guess... Just the camera. Yeah, and then you want quantum travel bound. Oh, true. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Um... Yeah. And I guess... Uh, I think that's it for that. And then um, for the cockpit, self uh, probably self-destruct. Yeah, I guess. Um, the flight system is ready. Oh. You want that? Uh. Um, flight system's ready? What, what is that? Yeah. Oh, they... That's to start your ship. To start yeah. the ship? Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's R on mouse and keyboard. Um, and then the open slash closed doors toggle uh, for mouse and keyboard users. I have that on numpad enter. Um, and then for the lock and unlock doors toggle, I have oh. shift with the numpad enter. Uh, because I find those useful. Um, we do a lot of ground ops things, so it's fun having that. Um, and especially if you pirate a ship that you don't know where the button is to do that. It is just a lot easier to press a key bind versus going in interact mode and looking all over the cockpit. Um, um. And yeah, I think that's that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then pickles um, view. Uh, this doesn't really matter, right? Especially yeah, if you no. have a head tracking. Mm hmm. Uh, flight movement. Okay, so pitch. Yep, yeah, pitch. You want to put an axis there. And then the yaw. Yep. Uh, so usually I just keep uh, this too in my right joystick. Um, you, you don't really want troll in the right joystick, but... I mean, I used to do it, and I know some people uh, do it too. Uh, at the end, it doesn't really matter if it works for you, then just keep your settings. But for the roll, I do my left joystick. Um, um, and, and then for mouse and keyboard users, uh, in this setting, you will have cycle mode between VJoin relative. And if you want to add a keybind to toggle that, that's where you do it. Um, yep. I didn't clear all my settings. Uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I have pedals for uh, throttle. Uh, so yeah, this is this two right joystick, uh, this three left joystick, and this one uh, pedals. Um, I usually bind the couple too because I fly a lot in the couple, so. Uh, sometimes I want to switch to couple. Uh, I switch between the two. Uh, I, I mostly fly the coupled, but sometimes I use uh, coupled like as a space break um, uh, to slow down or whatever. I, sh I, I use coupled yeah. sometimes. Uh, a boost yeah. I used uh, in my left joystick uh, as a trigger. And uh, I usually have speed limiter in my left joystick too because sometimes we 
we do some trainings with speed limiter and it's good to have it sometimes um to train yep. pvp uh, you want to train in slow speeds uh, because a lot of people when they are new uh, they tend to make the fights really fast uh, really high speed and that's not a thing you want to do uh, it's better to keep it slow so that's where you would bind the speed limiter to toggle on and off if you disabled it in the game settings mm -hmm. uh, like we talked about earlier in the video yep um and then space break you want that bound yep i do my left joystick too uh near my pinky and there's uh, a button on the purple at the very end Uh, uh and then cruise control toggle i don't use cruise control okay uh there's landing system nope I don't if you use that mm -hmm. uh toggle vtol i guess request landing this is Auto where land. uh yeah that is yeah yeah um so that setting for mouse and keyboard users should be default uh, left alt plus N. So instead of opening your Moby glass and calling the um, the station that you're trying to land, just put alt N and or alt left alt plus N, and it'll automatically call the station for you and give you a pad to land on or a hangar. Mm -hmm. Engage quantum travel. So you'll want that found too. Um, let me think what. So it'll be hold, so probably the toggle button that you bound. Can I do like my trigger? Oh, actually, okay, I know which one. Oh, hold, okay. Never mind. Okay. So I use the same one for a pull. Yes. Okay. Um, and then you have vehicle docking, doesn't really matter. Uh, vehicle targeting. Um, this is where pin selected target and unpin selected target. I think it's super important. Um, you get free information for pinning all your targets. You can see the name, the ranges, um, and it won't be like faded in the background. It is, no, it's all the way, uh, beneath pin those. Selected. The pin selected. Yeah, one? those two. Yeah. Um, I have it on mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down for keyboard users. Actually, can I do the slider? Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, I changed it. To my left joystick. You usually want to keep like all your work on the left joystick. Uh, you want to keep your right joystick like uh, without bindings uh, um, if you can. If you're a PvP -er, because uh, like you wanna just keep it for aim, and you don't wanna like get distracted doing like key binds and stuff while you're fighting. Yeah, and you also bind the unpin selected target uh, in case you wanna unpin it, but that's not too important. Mm -hmm. um, uh, unlock lock target. That's very important. Uh, mouse and keyboard users probably leave that default. Uh, you can change it if you want. Um, what does this do? It unlocks your target. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so vehicle target cycling. I recommend just leaving this all default. Do not mess with this at all. Um uh, this doesn't, it doesn't really matter, right? Wait, did we do the target? Uh oh. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So I don't have anything on this binded, so No. So... Uh, target. Uh the cycle lock in view forward. Mm -hmm. Um put that as one. Uh, okay, so... Or as, as any keybind that you would want to normally lock with. And then do the under reticle as well, that same keybind. I usually do back too with the same one. 
Is that bad? Uh, in view back. Well, you'd be targeting stuff behind you, so yeah. Okay, uh, and let's just get Then this. cycle, uh, cycle lock attackers forward. Um, that is a very another important keybind. It currently does not work. Um, uh. <laughs> yeah, it currently does not work. It just cycles through all the targets. Uh, but when they get it working again, it'll be very important. Um, because it'll tell you who's locking you. And then you can lock them back without having to try to fi figure out who it is. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and I think that's that for that. Yeah. Yeah. Target uh, hailing doesn't matter. Yep. Light radar. Um, no. Activate ping when you scan. You might want that. Mm. Uh, yeah, I will keep it for now. Okay. Yeah, I don't want this. Uh, vehicle weapons. Um, so if you want different fire groups for vehicle weapons. Are we, are um, we, oh, so yeah, I'm checking. Uh, I guess. Okay, yeah, weapons. Um, there's a keybind to do fire all weapon groups, uh, but if you use an EMP ship, you will not want to have that. Um, that is like the only scenario where I turn it off, but otherwise I have fire all weapon groups bound. Um, or you can just bind one and two to the same button, whatever works for you. Um, and then if you want to swap between gimbal mode, uh, that would be the setting under the fire group. Um, Yep. Uh, cycle fixed or auto gimbal modes. Uh, that one's actually the setting. Uh, don't listen to what I said before. Uh, the cycle fix and auto gimbal modes. Um, so if you have gimbals, you press G. It'll cycle between the three, the two or three gimbal modes, and then fix weapons. Um, and yeah. Uh, okay, and then important. Uh, toggle lead and lag pips. This is if you want to swap between them. Uh, I use G for mouse and keyboard, and I use double tap. So I double tap my G um, to give me lead or lag, and I use that to sub-target like uh, bigger ships, like thrusters and stuff. Or yeah. Mhm. Mm so that's it for weapons. Um, I don't use missiles, so uh, vehicle shields and countermeasures. Uh, no, that doesn't matter. The power uh, triangle. I do that... launch with the trigger. So. Oh. Um, this is probably important too, but I usually do it on the keyboard. Uh, I don't know. I will probably bind it to my joystick in the future. Uh, -uh. cause like when I'm fighting someone, I usually increase the, uh, the missiles. But yeah, I guess right now send. I do it on the keyboard, but you can bind bind it to your joystick too. Um, and then I would buy in chaff and flares, mm -hmm. which is noise and decoy. Uh, whoa. Okay. Okay. Um, and then go to power triangle. Uh, this is probably the most important setting. Mm -hmm. um, you want to set to weapons max. set to max. Tap. Um, for mouse and keyboard users, I use one, two, and three. One for weapons, two for engines, three for shields. Uh, so what this does is you press one, it'll put full capacitor uh, to your weapons. Um, and then if you press two, it'll put full into engines and three full into shields. Uh, so do the set to max. You do not want to hold it. Um, yes. Uh, huge, huge, huge. Um, yeah, so I usually in my joystick, I do it uh, to the button and near my thumb. So like while I'm like holding my joystick, like I do it like super quick. I just go, I literally put a triangle um, 
Uh, so like the weapons is left, uh, engines is up. I used to do tap. Uh, I mean, uh, but it doesn't work anymore. And uh, shields, I do right. I think every other setting is really up to them then. I um, think that covers it. Yeah. Um. Yep, yep. Uh, social. Oh, head tracking is really important. Uh, so, usually to enable it, uh, I have a keybind in my left joystick again. And you also want a recenter. Uh, so, I'm gonna do this, I guess. Uh -huh. I also or you would add VoIP push to talk as well. Ah, uh, I don't do that. Um, I usually had a keybind for my camera, but it doesn't show anymore to go into third person with the joystick. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if they changed it or what happened, but yeah, I had this. Uh, in my joystick to just go into third person. But I don't see it anymore. Uh, so I guess that's it for the keybinds. Uh, I'm sorry if we missed uh, anything important. Again, this is mostly for PvP. Um, I don't really do mining, so I don't know what keybinds are good for that. Uh, or if people use joysticks for that. Um, but this is mostly for fighting. Um, and yeah, I guess I will go for Toby users. I will go uh, through my settings here. Uh, really quick for the end of the video. If you don't have eye tracking, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I highly recommend you get uh, either uh, Toby or Track IR. Uh, you can use a discount with the code Miss Gabby's on Toby uh, for a 5% off. Um, yeah, like either one is good. Some people prefer Track IR, other people prefer Toby. It depends if you want like a huge thing attached to your headset or if you just want like uh, eye tracking with the Toby. You know, it's a kind of preference. You guys can test which one you guys prefer if you have the money for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go through some settings and um, uh, Papa Freedom um, helped me with the settings forever ago, so thank you. Um, I, I want to change some stuff from this, but this usually helps me because I get motion sick in most uh, shooter games. So like when I have hit tracking, it can... Uh, or eye tracking, I guess it kind of makes me a little dizzy. Um, I feel like, uh, like I don't really, I can't really aim. Uh, and Papa Freedom gave me his settings, uh, where like it just uses your head instead of eyes. And um, basically, oh, also with Toby, you can launch missiles just by looking at one person, which is really really cool. I probably missed. Uh, the keybind somewhere, or maybe it's here. Uh, but you can launch missiles just by looking at your enemy, which is really, really cool. You can lock them and launch um, just by looking. Um, but yeah, uh, he gave me those settings, which is mostly head, and this helped me a lot. I kind of want to uh, play with the sensitivity in the future, but I guess for now, um, I'm just going to keep these settings. Uh, so yeah, I have, let's see, I'm lost. Hey, here. Uh, Toby input, uh, three, then, ten, ten, ten. Yes, yes. And then one, one, one seventy one. Well, it's one seventy, I guess. Uh, uh. And then one seventy. Yeah, you guys can play with these settings, uh, usually the default settings um, from the Toby that Star Citizen has uh, is uh, awful. So I don't recommend you keep those settings. 
Uh, you, you usually want to play with it to see what works best for you. There's a lot of videos. Uh, Red, uh, Red Lair, he's a really good YouTuber. I think he has a video uh, about uh, Toby settings. You can watch him. Okay, yeah. This is all FPS where I recommend having it off. Yeah, so for FPS, don't use Toby for FPS. Uh, yep, don't recommend. Uh, mm. I also personally recommend turning off any position offset. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's all the settings. Uh, okay, thank you for watching and thank you uh, guys for helping me. Um, I hope this helps someone out there. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment and we will try to help you. So yeah, that was uh, settings for 3.19. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you, Pigeon and Amogus. You're welcome.